For the first time, President Biden allowing Ukraine to use long-range missiles to strike inside Russia. It's a major reversal in U.S. policy. U.S. officials say a reason for the change, the 10,000 North Korean troops arriving to fight alongside the Russians. In his nightly address, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky says the missiles will speak for themselves. The focus of Ukraine's new capabilities is expected to be in Russia's Kursk region. That's where the North Korean troops have joined some 50,000 Russian troops trying to recapture the land Ukraine seized months ago. The key point here is that Kursk is Russia. And if incoming President Trump calls for negotiations, the Ukrainians are going to need Kursk as a bargaining chip at the table with Mr. Putin. The U.S. had already given Ukraine shorter-range missiles, only to be used on Ukrainian territory seized by Russia. I think for the Russians, they're going to regard this as a major escalation. But the reality is they're going to have to wait for the next administration, the Trump administration, and see actually where policy truly lies. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin speaking hours before the policy change went public. This war could end today. It could have ended two years ago or two and a half years ago if Putin would have decided to make the right decision and pull his, his forces out of Ukraine. Biden's reversal comes two months before he leaves the White House. President-elect Trump claims he is the only person who can bring both sides together to end the war. Perry Russom, ABC News, Washington.